Hey folks, it's Rich, and uh, welcome back to Sit Rep 101. Uh, at the range last weekend, and I was approached by someone who had said to me, you know, hey Rich, I want to get a red dot holographic weapon system for my AR, um, but I don't want to spend a boatload of money. What do you recommend? He had said something about going online to one of the auction sites and buying one of the knockoffs. You know, and I said, listen, you don't want to buy a knockoff. I did, okay? I went to one of the auction sites, I bought an aim point knockoff, and I threw it on my AR and dialed it in, and after about 25 yards, I literally walked off the paper. The knockoffs are not worth it, okay? Three major companies right now are offering really nice, battle-proven, law enforcement, military-proven systems, okay? You can go with the Red Dot systems, which is the EOTech and the aim points, or you can go with a four power magnified system, which is the Trigicon ACOGs. These have been proven. These aren't dime store sites. Military law enforcement personnel all over the world are trusting their lives and their brothers' lives on the performance of these systems. So you're not getting a piece of junk. None of them are bad. Each have their own little quirks and, you know, good points, bad points. But, uh, you know, you can't go wrong. All right. So I figured I would uh, show you my one of my one rifles, and um, we'll just take a quick little look and feel, make sure that the weapon's clear, the weapon's clear. All right, this is the EOTech 5.57 G23 FTS. 5.57 G23 FTS. Flip to the side, okay? It's about a thousand dollar system, give or take. MSRP is over a thousand dollars. Hunt around, you probably get some good prices. This is a full featured system setup. Okay, it's going to give you the convenience of CQB targets under a hundred meters. It's going to give you a three power magnified system for distances up to six hundred meters. Okay, now the five five seven has a reticle pattern that has four one inch MOA red dots. You've got your center dots and then three dots below it, okay? The center dot is between zero or 300 meters, or up to 300 meters. And then it goes out to that. The next dot down is 400, 500, and 600. So if you're in a situation where you're engaging a target and your target is 100 meters, you could probably get away with just the holographic reticle pattern. But once you start to get targets that are out and you need to concentrate on your shots, a magnified system is going to be the best thing for you. So, as the G23 flips to the side, it re-engages it. Now I've got a three-powered magnified system. I've got my reticle pattern. And based on my target and my experience, I can judge how far away that, that target is. Okay? EOTech has made some really great designs and some breakthroughs over the last couple of years. Um, they have what I like to call the Jimmy Durante style, which is the long snout, takes the AA batteries. They have some that are uh, night vision compatible. The original designs, like the 512, and this is one of the, the, um, the negative aspects of an EOTech. It's not really huge, but to me it's a little bit negative. Um, the original models, the on-off switches were located towards the shooters. Okay, So if you were up on target, and all of a sudden you had to either increase your magnification or turn the system off or decrease the magnification, you literally had to come down off of your target and then you had to manipulate the controls. And in order to turn it off, you'd have to take both thumbs and turn it off. Well, now the weapon's no good because you're not even up on it. You're not even holding it. Something happens. No good. Now, the G23 system, what it's done is it took into consideration, hey, I'm going to have a magnified system right up against the rear of it. I need to move my controls. So your on-off switch and your magnifier, your illumination increase, decrease switches are on the same size. So now, if you're downrange, and whether you're using the G23, whether you're not, you're up on a target, and you decide that you want to turn it off, turn it up, turn it down, whatever, I'm still, target is downrange, I still have situational awareness, I have my target downrange or possible targets, I can now adjust my illumination, or I can shut the system down. Great system. The EOTech right now, actually, EOTech's offering a pretty sweet rebate program. Um, some of their models, um, up to $500, $500, I wish, up to $50 rebate, and they have, I think it's the 512 model, which is a $30 rebate. So go online to EOTech and check that out. Great, great system. Um, second great system, of course, is going to be 
the aim points. And then aim points, once again, it's a little bit different. One of the biggest differences is not a holographic weapon system. Uh, they come with a 2 MOA and a 4 MOA red dot. Um, they have multiple models designed for your needs. Military with night vision capability, whether you happen to be swimming with it, it's got a depth, both of these have a depth rating, you know, uh, for Navy SEALs or any type of underwater combat teams. Uh, you can go to a certain depth without the pressure crushing the optics of the glass. Um, one of the things that's nice about the uh, aim point is the fact that, you know, your on-off switch is located on the top right-hand corner. Now, you can come up on the top of it with your support hand. I never recommend taking your, um, your support hand, I'm sorry, non-dominant here. I never recommend taking your support hand off the firearm. Leave it there at all times, okay? I'm forgetting. Not good. Anyways, let's do this. I know that they're unloaded, but you always got to check. And I don't practice this stuff. It's all on the cuff, so I'm going to screw up from time to time. Anyways, um, one thing a lot of people don't understand. If you're going to get a holographic or a red dot system, and you ever consider putting a magnification behind it, a magnifier, there are three, four, five times magnifiers available, both from reputable companies and also some of the cheap knockoffs. Do not get a four MOA red dot. You put a three power magnifier behind that, you're looking downrange at 100 yards, 150, 200, guess what? You don't see a target, you see a big ass red dot. Not good. Go to two MOA. Now, I will admit there are knockoffs on the market right now in some of the auction sites that's, um, that's a three, four, and five power magnifier. You know something? It's glass. It's probably going to be just as good as some of the higher end models. I can't lie to you. Um, I've never bought one. I've been considering it. But it's the main unit which is the most important part of the gun, not the, uh, not the uh, magnifier. Okay? But if you're a true diehard, you want to have yourself an aim point magnifier, an EOTech magnifier, go and buy the EOTech setup, go ahead and get it. Um, I would not buy a red dot system online if it was not an authentic EOTech or an aim point. Don't buy the knockoffs. They're no good. But if you do want to buy a knockoff, what I would recommend, if you have a 22, knock yourself out with a knockoff. Okay? This is the aim point H1 knockoff. I think I paid $55 for it delivered. You know something? It's a 22. Very little recoil. I'm up on target all the time. It looks like an aim point. Who cares? It's a 22. Okay? They sell a whole, a whole bunch of different types of systems out there. But if you want to buy a knockoff, get it for a 22 lookalike. Don't get it for your main combat system or your competition rifle. Don't do it. Okay? Now, last but not least, I would have mounted this on a firearm, but I decided not to. This is the TA-01 Trigicon ACOG. Four powered sight, um, has a military reticle pattern, it also has a drop point compensator for distances. This is their entry level model. It's probably under a grand, but they have models that have an illumination tube on the top that will absorb any lumens or any light from around it and it causes the reticle pattern to illuminate, which is a great little setup. But the one thing about this and the aim point in the EOTech is they're battle proven. They've been proven in both military combat situations and law enforcement combat situations. They don't fail. And that's something I stress because you'll never see any military or law enforcement guy with a cheap knockoff. Their lives depend upon it. Their buddies' lives depend upon it. Spend the money. You don't have the money, save the money up. Get what is the best. Don't settle for anything left because keep in mind, whether it be something that would be for three-gun matches, for recreational, whether it be for law enforcement, personal home protection, you want to make sure that the equipment that you buy is actually going to work when you need it. Practice what you shoot. Shoot what you practice.